Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carrie and this channel is all about Hawaii food and family. Yes, I'm from Hawaii, but my family and I are traveling to Japan. This is part two of this series. We recently headed to Hiroshima to perform the original musical Peace on Your Wings written by my sister Jenny and her wife Lori. In the last video, we visited the Peace Park, the mayor of Hiroshima, and began preparing to perform the show at Astor Plaza. If you missed that, make sure you watch that video first, but now that you're all caught up, let's get into part two. All right, cast first time on stage in Hiroshima. Wow, how do you guys feel? If we were to try and move it all the way downstage, is that possible? That the, the, the subtitle screen. Like if we were to kind of, like, like the order. original, or like yeah, like like where they more. would where they would normally have it, like all the way downstage, kind of. Since this was the first time we were performing the show in Hiroshima, Patrick and Yusuke were trying to problem solve where the super title screen should go, that would work both artistically and for the Japanese speaking audience. Can you tell me what is, so what are we trying to figure out? Right now, we're trying to figure out why I don't jump across and strangle Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Did Patrick just tickle Olivia? No. Uh, no. Right now, we're trying. Uh, right now, we're trying to figure out um, the the height of the super title screen and how it relates to the rest of the design, um, because. The, none of the audience, or the majority, the vast majority of the audience, will need the super titles to understand the show. Uh, but we're also experiencing, or we're trying to explore culturally, what is the audience expectation when they arrive at the theater? Mm -hmm. um, in the United States, we try to hide lighting unless we're doing a very obvious, uh, fully visible theatrical experience. Is that the expectation of a Japanese audience? I have no idea. So let's have a conversation about it. Yeah, they don't care. It sounds like they don't care. <laughs> okay. Okay. They're saying like, sorry that you guys can't be like. The way you want it. No, no, it's not what we want. We're just we're. I think we're we're we both want to trying to get what we, we're both trying happy. to get what we want yeah. um, to make the show that's best for the audience. So. I think we know that this show <laughs> is important to, for for you. We know how important this show is for this audience, and we're happy to bring it here. And so we just want to make sure that as we make all of our adjustments. Mm -hmm. We want to prioritize oh. what the experience of everybody here oh. seeing this show is, yeah. not you. what it was before, because it's this is a different this audience. This is a different and, show, different audience. And we want you yeah. all to have the best experience. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think so. Sarah, what are they doing? Have you ever seen that before? Have you ever what are they doing right now? They're focusing the lights, so they're using these sticks to like point them at the ground where William wants them to go. And this is really cool because this is like very different from how it happens in America where like they'd be on a ladder mm -hmm. or on a, a scissor lift or something like that. So we are not doing orchestra this time around just because, why aren't we doing the orchestra? Um, I think that um, it was just first time we're doing it in Japan and I think committee was hoping to keep things simple and you know maybe we'll do it next time so because of that we are just using the track so Jenny before the show had to uh, how do I what is it called what did you have to, what is, she had to basically like write all the tracks for this show on her on her MIDI no is that what I was called why do you what did you explain what you had to do for the tracks um, I had to produce tracks so you know, exporting them out of the Sibelius um, sheet music files, which, and then turning that into songs that like are backing tracks. So now Jenny is just in the wing. She is the or this is orchestra right here. I am going to conduct the some of the taiko from here because it's like in sync with the track. And you're using gold button. Uh, no, this is um, this is Q Lab. Oh, Q Lab. So this is how we're playing all the music for this show. Do you miss the orchestra? Yes. 
but that's okay. They have a really amazing speaker system, so it'll Sounds be fine. Sounds good. It'll be good. Okay. So we just found the coolest mirror here. How do you work it? Oh, that it it will show your costume in the different lighting. So regular lighting, blue light. Yellow light and red. Wow. Can you do all of them? I just did. Oh, let's do all. Whoa. That's cool. Oh, the Japanese, they think of everything. What, what is this? What? It's like the color. You can see it in the different colors. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. I should have done my interviews right there. Oh, yeah. 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 Good morning everyone. So today I believe it's day three with our Peace in Your Wings cast. And pretty much it from yesterday, everything is loaded in the theater, which was really efficient working with Japanese, uh, just like Japanese crew. They, our crew was just very um, impressed. Everything took a lot less time than it does in the US in general, but set is in and it looks a little different because there's some pieces that we couldn't bring from the US so like we have this shoji screen that has like these jagged edges usually but um, for this show it was hard for us to bring those in so we had them purchase um, just regular shoji so I mean there's just a couple things that are, are different but you know it's gonna be a, a, definitely a great show here and so today is reblocking day, like how we do, or how we did in the last vlog, where we get the kids on stage, and we basically restage the whole show to this stage. So it takes about a day for me to do that with Danny, and it'll be a full day in the theater. Read here. What are your plans today? I don't know. I really don't know. There's, there's an aquarium, but it requires you to take a train, so I might have to go activate my JR Rail Pass. Mm -hmm. I don't know, we'll see. Yes, but first, Japanese breakfast. Just breakfast here in Japan. But today, Ohio. Ohio. But today I'm gonna be filming the breakfast so you can see what we've been eating every day. So we have salad. Every morning there's a nice salad. Shirasu and some, I believe this is natto. Hi. Hey mom. Hi, How's good your morning. Oh, your I have my natto here. I'm gonna mix it in with all the vegetables and the rice. Uh -huh. I might show you my tofu, hijiki, every morning, a meal. Renkon, I believe. Hijiki and tofu. Um, but just you know, I think it was really special to have this this experience, and um, and like Carrie said, there's so many people who have built. The reason we're here today is is, is product of like this is like the finish line. Like Miss Danny was talking the other day, like of ten years of like there's hundreds of people who have like built different types of sets and have like designers and like revises and we revised the script and we've written these songs and we've we've refined the staging and the acting and the moments of the I mean everything different casts have come through and the parents who have like built stuff and worked backstage and then there's like donors who have donated thousands of dollars to put the show on again and again and again and again for ten years and for it to be here today 
it's like amazing. We are in the theater on reblocking day and we're just putting up the lanterns right now. Cast is getting in their mics and we are just going to put the show on the stage. Hey, how do you feel? Feeling really good. I mean, this space is absolutely beautiful. Um, we have our tickler set up. Everything looks great. Super titles are up. Feeling good about that. Um, I think the cast is in very good spirits and it feels like it's going to be a good tech day. If you're unfamiliar with the term reblocking, reblocking means that we respace uh, actors on stage and we go through the show piece by piece, kind of with a fine tooth comb. And we make sure that the spacing on this particular stage looks great. It generally takes about three times the amount of time that the show length is. So for a two hour show, it takes a good six hours. How is reblocking going? Reblocking is going really well. They have retained so much and uh, we just did too little too late and it looked the best it's ever looked. The spacing was awesome. They had tension in their bodies. Yeah, I think it's, it's really a little low. Looking well. It's looking great. Um, so now we are going Maybe into like Obon Ondo, six which is feet? always uh, a tricky time because of um, how the lines are structured, but I think it will be great. That was beautiful, Gabe. Uh, who was... You turn it, yeah. I'm not generally generally like an oyster person, but these are cooked and I will try one. Ooh, look, you can see this. And Hiroshima, I think in general, is known for their oysters. The texture is not as rubbery as it is when it's not cooked. Um, and it's not as fishy either, which I appreciate. The, the sauce is like a with a teriyaki kind of sauce. It's very good. Keep it there. Ooh, that looks good. The steam. You got the steam. Yakisoba. Yeah. I like it with the udon. 7-Eleven was right across the street from where we were staying, so to say that we visited this convenience store often is an understatement. There were just so many options and really convenient foods to try. I especially really enjoyed this green smoothie that was already pre-portioned out. It just needed to be blended and I would 100% get it again. This next day was a pretty busy day in the theater for us. We were going to be doing two dress rehearsals. It's time we have a conversation about the reality of producing theater. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've done a lot of great work in the last two days. Yes. And we're going to get to Brightest Star, this beautifully emotional song. And there are no more like yous. Oh no! And so the, wor so the work lights are going to come on. Oh no! <laughs> for both shows? For this, for the first run. Okay. Okay. But hopefully for the evening, we'll have, we'll have a whole show. A whole show. But we're real close. We are real we're close. We're real close. I mean, Brightest Star is almost at the end. Yeah, we're, we're, we're close. And I can, I think I can do it. What was Schedule the biggest challenge here, like for you, like as a lighting designer, what was challenge? Um, 
I'm, I'm using a light board I've never used before, which is fun, um, but, but a challenge. Um, and uh, because every previous production has had a lot of LED technology and a lot of things, it just means I have to, I'm rewriting the entire show. Wow. <laughs> The, the, the good thing is, at least you know the show. I, I know the show like, very you know, well. You know the blocking. I know the blocking very well. Yeah. It's true. Because even if it's a musical that we've done before, mm -hmm. we are not in a theater we've been in, and now we're in a different country that we've ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> so as a projection uh, oh, designer, what was the most challenging thing for you go, uh, this go around? Her name is Carrie Tyra. <laughs> And William Kirkham. <laughs> I think it's more William though. I'm I'm pretty you know I'm pretty flexible. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean this was this was a great experience for the set and projection experience. We had a fantastic local Japanese crew that cared about the show. Mm -hmm. Very on top of it. We were very supported. Uh, I'm just excited. I'm very excited to bring this show, especially some of the updates and the kind of darker the realities that we were facing with this show. Mm -hmm. I'm curious how this audience is going to feel when we're here. Some of those early prologue images, mm -hmm. I'm like, we all were used to like, oh, we're showing the ruins and the wreckage of Hiroshima, and like, this is the city that has built their culture around it. That's so true. That is true. They're used to it, and so it's also going to be a whole different experience. Just. Feeling their reactions, I think, will be will be very. Well, that's an interesting. Wow. Main <laughs> we have to show this. That is their main curtain. So cool. The other thing that the other day I was like, Patrick, did you add more projections? Everybody has asked. Anthony asked. Right. Asked, everybody. Because we're like, wow. The, the thing, the difference is, we can, we can actually finally see the projection. We have two fairly powerful projectors stacked instead of one projector and they're from a much better straight on lower position. Like the position is better, the equipment is better, oh. and there's also more surface area mm -hmm. because there's let the shoji screens are shorter and there's sort of like all the there's a lot of just like other things that are letting us see everything better so this is anthony anthony is has been our sound designer in la and uh, here in japan and in the bay area and in the bay area he's been on the show since 2015 2015 yeah so tell me what has been the most challenging thing about your job in this room in, or this in, room. in, in japan in japan Dealing with making sure people on stage can hear things, I think. And just having control of... All the sounds. Of things going up and down. Mm -hmm. Like, I know that's a really silly way to put it, but it's it's a different challenge because we're working with pre-recorded tracks versus having an orchestra. So do you miss the orchestra, or would you prefer I, I miss, recorded tracks? I miss having the ability to mix the instruments myself. Uh, almost original piece on your wings cast Almost, ever. yeah. How do you feel about being in the space now in Hiroshima? And seeing the production, not to be in it, being in it. But oh, I'm jealous. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true feeling. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool though. It's very cool, and like um, because each each no. version of it, like honestly, it hasn't stayed the same from run to run to tour to tour. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to see how it evolves each time. Like the like changes. Like I think the biggest thing is that it gets more detailed every time. Yeah. Both of our dress rehearsals went well. We had a full set of lights by the second dress rehearsal and I was just very proud of the cast, crew, and everyone because we were ready for opening night. We knew that the shows were going to be great. For each performance, we had a group of Japanese students come on stage with the cast at the end of the last number. So in order to make this happen, we had a special rehearsal for each group about one hour before each show, which lasted about 45 minutes. It was really awesome to see both Japanese and American students singing together on stage in unity about peace. And for those of you who watched previous vlogs and Peace in Your Wings before, you know that is tradition for us to gather together before every performance and come into a nice circle.
Before the performance, I was worried about how people of Hiroshima would receive the performance just because it's a story about their history, their past, and even for so many, still their present. There were some people in the audience who lived through the bombing. There were others who knew people that passed from the bombing, or there were others who also may be still battling illnesses from the bombing many years later. To my relief though, I could tell that by the long sounds of clapping at the end of the show, the audience in Hiroshima felt very grateful for this production. The feelings in the house was overwhelming with so much love and gratitude. And I believe at the end of the day, they just felt seen. but I think the uh, actors or participants from Hiroshima are now intermixed with our Hawaii actors and actresses and they're taking a picture. They were very excited and touched to be in the play. Um, and so I, I think everyone I've talked to or have seen leaving the audience were very impressed by the play and very emotionally touched. So we are doing show two. How did show one go, guys? Um, act two is definitely better than act one. Yeah. With the energy, I thought was great. Oh my days! I messed up really bad. Going by really. I'm canceling. Your line. No, okay. Carrie Tara's vlog for now. We have to go. We have to go. Okay, go. We're making a circle, and we're gonna do circle time. It's Carrie. So we're done with the second show, and we got a standing ovation, which I think is like an American. Tradition, but you know, we did that. They did that here for these kids, and I'm just so proud of them. It's amazing. I feel like the crowd here enjoyed the show. It, it just the, the feeling in the room was very, very positive. And so, I think overall, it was a success. Um, so proud of all the kids. Good morning. It is what day is today? Sunday. It is Sunday here in Japan. We've been here, yeah, officially one week already. And a week today, and a, a week and a day. Well, well, we got here on the Sunday, but anyway, we today is our last day of performances of Peace in Your Wings, and I didn't get to reflect or share last night, but it went really well. The last two, I think, I was a little worried with how. Uh, the audience here in Hiroshima would take the story and how you know we presented it to them but they seemed very moved, very touched by the end. The kids last night got a standing ovation which was pretty um, just overwhelming, like an overwhelming feeling I think and yeah it just everything is going with the show everything is going really well and I think I feel like the people of Hiroshima are, are gonna want to bring the show back if that's what I've been hearing. What do you think? I think there's a good chance they're very moved, they're very thankful, they're grateful that we came up here and I don't know, I feel like, how, to, how do you explain it? Like, there's, the story's not done, you know what I mean? Like, there's more to be done here mm. than just one weekend of performances. Yeah. So today we have one more performance, then we have a farewell party to attend. Um, but keep watching and we will take you along with us, of course. Okay, tell us where are we where are we headed to right now? Right across the street is uh, a large drugstore called Once, and um, we need diapers. Jenny needs diapers, so we're gonna go replenish the supply and then see what else we can find. Once. I wanted to 
introduce Sammy, who also has one of our cast members, Sammy, who also has a vlog on YouTube. So if you want the teenage cast version of this trip, where do they go? You go to Sammy Hoftail and just search up my name and I'll pop up. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my like, version of the vlog. Like, like subscribe, and hit that post <laughs> notification bell. Hi. Hi. So we have two special people here. So special. Wow. <laughs> of Peace on Your Wings until 2018. Yeah, 20 pretty much like the original cast. We have Shana, Yasna, Hello. Natalie Borsky, original uh, Sarako and Shizuka. And how do you guys feel being here? What does it feel like? It's surreal. I don't know. I, oh, I'm sorry. I, but I realized like it's been nearly a decade since, since it originally started, which is that's a child. Like, y'all have had children since then. <laughs> oh, they kissy! Oh, they are cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's so uh, it's so heartwarming to see everyone here. Yeah. It's, it's very really full sweet. circle. And yeah, we're so happy that we can have you here in the last one. Like, so they're going to make a special appearance at the end. So special. And it's going to be really, really nice. Yeah. But anyway, so cute. nice to see you guys on the vlog. Jeez. And yes, their so parents. Hi. 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 I say one, yeah. two. One, two? Yeah. Move this upstate. Yeah. Right. This is the last circle with this cool. cast. After this show, what a journey it's been. Uh, we are changing out some cast members, and yeah, it'll just be a, a little bit different one more chapter closing for the show. Mm -hmm. And chapter of a, a long, long book at this point. Um. So it's funny, the show is very healing. And as soon as we enter the theater, and especially now in circle time, you know, there's just a lot of love. So families, yes, true families, we go through a lot of issues, but if you have good intention, you come together and your bond is even stronger. And that's what you're gonna give to the audience today. So very proud of you all. I'm so grateful to the people of Hiroshima for having us, supporting this show and the mission, and for receiving this show with so much love and gratitude. My heart was full by the end. Kudos to the cast and crew for working together to put on the best shows possible. I am so proud of everyone who worked on this show. And of course, thank you to Jenny and Lori for having a vision and the diligence to pursue this dream and to make this a reality for so many. As we say at the end of the show, Ichigo Ichie, which means one chance, one meeting, or today is the first and last day of your life. May this be your reminder to live each day to the fullest and appreciate the moments you have. I'm going to end this video here. Make sure to stay tuned for part three as we continue our journey in Japan. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Tell me what is, so tell me what's happening.
Mall. All the parents and kids are gathering. Uh, we're about to take a bus to Orizuru Tower, owned by one of the Mazda brothers. And yeah, we're gonna have our farewell dinner. You look nice. So do you. Ellie looks cute. Ellie's in a little dress. Hi. Hi. Our outfits here. My Japanese shirt. She was gonna wear pink pants, so I told her not to. I was gonna wear a dress, but then it was like, I felt like it was too short after I actually put it on, like for Japan, so. Pink pants too would have been so not good. So, pants and top, you know, keep it safe. Keep it simple. Keep it simple and safe.